California drought, dozens of communities are at risk of running out of water. Emergency wells, desalination plants, strict rationing are spreading, particularly in small northern California towns in Fort Bragg on the Mendocino coast, city leaders are rushing to install an emergency desalination system. In Healdsburg, lawn watering is banned with fines of up to $1,000. In Hornbrook, a small town in Siskiyou County, faucets have gone completely dry, and the chairman of the water district is driving 15 miles each way to take showers and wash clothes. So far, California's worsening drought has been an inconvenience in big cities. But it is already imperiling an alarming number of communities, especially between the Bay Area and the Oregon border, threatening the water supplies for more than 130,000 people. The severe shortages are not just in small towns and rural hamlets that rely on one or two wells or streams that have run dry. Larger towns, with their own reservoirs and water departments, are in trouble too. As the state struggles with its worst drought since at least 1977, no one has a complete list of which of the state's 7,500 public water systems are facing the most severe shortages. But in May, officials at the State Water Resources Control Board in Sacramento set out to create one. They called it, public water systems likely to have critical water supply issues by the end of August. It currently includes 81 water systems that serve 132,559 people, from Tiny Mammoth Pool Mobile Home Park in the Sierra Foothills near Yosemite National Park, to well-known Northern California towns like Ukiah, Lakeport, Bolinas, Healdsburg, Cloverdale and Fort Bragg. This is going to be a long, hot dry summer, said Dan Newton, assistant deputy director of the board's division of drinking water. Throw fires in on top of that with stressed water systems, and it is going to be really difficult for some systems to survive. Their list, Newton and his colleagues stress, is not an inventory of communities certain to run out of water. Rather, it is a roster of areas that have told the state they are in danger of running out or are facing extreme shortages. It also includes communities about which the water board staff has serious concerns and wants more information. Once a community is put on the list, water board officials order weekly reports showing water use, conservation rules and plans to avoid running out of water. State water board officials can also order building moratoriums or tougher conservation rules. That hasn't happened yet. But Newton said he expects the board to take some stronger measures in August.